Uh, I just steal two four offset on the button because my hand doesn't really matter. They're just going to jam or fold for the most part. King 10 suited. I raise and warm Norton shoves and last time he had ace 10 and I, um, I just decided to raise call here, I guess. But I think versus someone like warm Norton, like even though he shows up with a six suited here, like that's like the, the light extent of what he's going to do. Like, I don't think he's going to shove like too wide other than that. Like suited aces are like his wide side and like maybe like King 10 and like queen Jack and queen 10 and Jack 10. But other than that, like, I don't think he's going to shove too many, like, 7-5 suited type hands. So I think the less kind of, like, suited connectors that he's going to want to shove, the less likely I should be raised calling him. And the fact that he's just giving me so many um, stolen pots in position anyway, you probably don't need to raise call this uh, unless I was on the button or something versus big blind. But we hit anyway versus him, and it's unlucky for him. So now we still have a lot of chips. We just fold 7-10 to Cesar. And we go for another steal of 5-4 off and take it over to ML. And Jack-10 off. We're going to go for the light 3-bit against Nice. Um, he's certainly opening quite a bit from the hijack and has played a lot of pots with Cesar. So um, I just go for a little bit of pressure and position against him. I could, you know, it's either 3-bit or flat here. I wouldn't really fold. And he comes back with a four bet, and I just fold and give it to him. Queen Jack suited, and he defends. We hit top pair versus him, so we're going to go for three streets on this type of board. So we bet a little bit less than half pot, and he calls. We turn a queen, and we bet two thirds, and take it down. And we have Cesar opening and gets shoved on and folds. We get ace queen on the button now, pretty strong with all things considered, but no action. Uh, Cesar opens, hijack, I have queen 10 off here. I probably could flat, but with all the shove stacks behind, and it's nice being able to three bet late. Uh, I think it's not the greatest, and especially with Cesar like, being kind of short. I think three bet could have been good there, though. I think probably better than folding. Uh, but he does get 3-bet by 6-8 instead, so after the 4-bet shove, it looks like the 3-bet would have been bad. Also important to note that 6-8 IOU 3-bet folded about 25 big blinds there out of position. Um, so this is our just glimpse on our blind, and he's got to expect that I will raise a decent bit there, so he probably has a playable hand, and King 2 also is pretty bad, so I just decided to check back. And I check back the flop. Sometimes I could definitely bet there and take a stab at it once he checks. But he's not always going to be check giving up because he's not really that bad of a player. Um, so he checks again and I check back. And he finally decides to bet, probably for value with an ace high or something like that. Um, or just maybe some bottom pair. Um, but either way, I just give it up. Um, just a pot taken right there. Um, this time I decided to fold the 4 6 offset on the button. Both of them have resteal stacks and they're going to be restealing a lot, so I can't be raising every button. And he shows the King 10 that he's going to resteal. So excellent for me, I guess. And now we raise Ace Jack the next hand and he shoves a little over 20 big blinds, but I certainly cannot fold with how things have been going. And he has 10s and we lose the race. Um, raises the next hand, gets 3 bet. Now Cesar with a min 4 bet. And both fold. And the min 4 bet by Cesar instead of just a jam does look kind of pretty strong, but he still could be late every once in a while. I just don't think he is all that much. Uh, here is 7 9 suited. I definitely should be flatting us against Cesar or 3 betting it. Uh, I guess I was worried a bit about Duhamel shoving if I flatted, but uh, I still think I probably should flat a decent bit or 3 bet, and they actually do end up having pretty strong hands there. But it would have turned the nizzies. Um, so Cesar hits the two outer, and now we have four handed. So it's fine with me. Um, I fold the ace three off here on the cutoff. Um, now we have to really worry about players three betting and defending. And like I said, hand equity and being able to combat that is more important with better players behind. 